Hello, my name's Andrew Percival, Director of Renuvo. The installation you're about to see was undertaken on behalf of Warwick District Council in one of their social housing properties. It consists of a biomass boiler located in a three-bedroom semi-detached property in the heart of rural Warwickshire. The Windhager Varia Win serves seven radiators and full heating controls. The whole system was put in within one working day. The property is set in rural Warwickshire off the gas grid. It has been heated by electric storage heaters, but now Renuvo has been commissioned by Warwick District Council to replace them with a fuel pelleted biomass system serving seven radiators. The system will be fully controlled by a programmer, TRVs on each radiator and a room thermostat. The day starts with the delivery of the equipment, the biomass boiler and the removal of the old storage heaters. With the storage radiators removed, the property is now ready to receive its biomass boiler and new central heating system. It's at this stage the team splits up into two. One team member carries out work to the outhouse to receive the boiler and make way for a new flue, while the remaining team members work on the rooms to receive the radiators and pumped wet system. Because this property has a concrete floor, it's necessary to distribute the pipework from the upper floor. Every effort is made to site the radiators in areas where they can distribute heat efficiently throughout the property. This includes windows which are traditionally the coldest part of a room. Neatness is critical and great care is taken to install radiators and pipework in the least obtrusive way to minimise the impact on decor. Radiators are installed in every room, including the lounge, dining area, bedrooms, bathrooms, and of course the hall, stairs and landing. This ensures that heat loads are evenly distributed throughout the home, thus avoiding cold spots which can cause drafts. Clean soldered joints are essential to making sure that there are no leaks in the system when it is first fired up. Wherever possible, pipes are notched into suspended timber floors and then packed to reduce the noise from heat expansion. As well as fitting the radiators, the team also install a new hot water cylinder. Normally this goes in the airing cupboard as a direct replacement for the old electrically heated cylinder. The primary feeds to the heating and hot water system run from the boiler room in larger diameter copper to maintain adequate flow rates. It's at this stage that the biomass boiler's flue system is prepared and installed before the boiler is fitted in position. Pressure relief safety pipe work is also sleeved through each wall before the stripped down boiler is moved into position and connected directly to the flue. The boiler's feet are then adjusted to ensure the boiler is levelled correctly and all safety controls are fitted before the side panels are offered into position. Once partially assembled, work is carried out to connect the wiring and control systems in place and to prepare the boiler to receive its fireproof door. The last stages include the filling of the hopper. In this case, the boiler is a Windhager 12 kW Variwind boiler. The fuel pellets, which are compliant to national wood fuel standards, are provided in bags by a local supplier. A few final checks and the Windhager biomass boiler is then ready for use, following the successful completion of all the work 
within just one day.